in case you didn't know, I am Tasha and welcome to my channel. Um, I have Magnus here with me, as you might be able to see like the bottom of his head here. Uh, and I hear him laughing. He's not actually involved in this video, but he's got a bit of a cold. So he's feeling a bit clingy at the moment. So yeah, he's just sat on my lap while I film. Um, and I'm doing a haul for you today. Um, it's nothing like particular. I went out into town with Magnus because I had a couple of things to buy and ended up with a run of really weird selection of things. So I'm just going to get right to it. Um, I'll try and list the shop as I go along as I remember where I got things from. So first, and basically the only reason I went out is we needed some of these Angel Care nappy rings for our nappy bin as we have run out. Uh, so this is just a three pack and we got this from Argos and yeah nothing overly exciting like the most thrilling way to start off a video ever I know then I went to Poundland and got this Mocate gold premium caramel latte um I keep buying costa at college like every day and every time i go for the caramel latte so i thought i'd get some for at home so maybe i'm not quite so tempted to be going to costa all the time because obviously not the cheapest of places <clears throat> i got some alpine light bars because kind of for the same reason i'm really terrible at eating breakfast first thing in the morning it makes me feel a bit sick so i end up buying breakfast while i'm out and again that kind of of course the cost for that add up so i thought i'd just buy some of these and just take one with me in the mornings to have for like a mid-morning snack and um, yeah these are the alpine light chocolate and fudge bars i also got from there a hairbrush again not the most thrilling thing um but i've noticed recently hairbrushes have changed so much from when i was younger i used to be like you get a hairbrush it was a couple of quid and that was it and now you're spending like 14 15 quid and there's like a zillion different types so i thought i have no idea what's out there so i'm just gonna go and get a normal hairbrush from howland and final thing from that was a packet of nerds i just really love nerds um i remember I used to eat them like all the time and then i stopped and I've started again. Like I usually get the turf and turf ones from Wilco's, but I didn't go into Wilco's today, so I just got these. And I think you, I can never remember if you still need to spend a fiver in Poundland, so I always try and make it up to a fiver just in case. Oh, I also got this. Um, Oh, there was everything like this a bowl for Halloween to for put like sweets and things in for if we get any trick or treaters. Uh, I'm not expecting we will because we live like really difficult to place, like uh, difficult to find place. So we probably won't get anyway. But if we don't, we'll just eat all the sweets ourselves. It's not the end of the world. And then I went to Boots and I got this six pack of yankee candles as i had just used up the last of my current yankee candle and i go through them like crazy amounts in the autumn so i have lemongrass and ginger rhubarb crumble soft blankets autumn nights lake sunset and black cherry obviously if you can see this is their autumn gift set so i'm gifting it to myself and I got another autumn staple from me as well, red hair dye. As soon as the nights start getting colder and the leaves start falling off the trees, I get this urge to dye my hair red. Um, I have dyed it red every autumn for the last, like, I would say like eight years or something like that. So yeah, it's just going to be one of my life traditions now, I think. The minute it hits autumn, it's time for my hair to be red. I don't think I dyed it red last autumn. I think I went orange instead, but I think that came out too quickly. So I am back to red. Then I went to Tesco. Um, I got some sausages for dinner, but those aren't overly exciting and they're in the fridge. So I won't show you those. But 
Magnus had run out of porridge, so we got him some Heinz porridge. So we got blueberry oaty porridge and perfectly peachy multigrain. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the difference between these are, but they're both for seven months up and he really likes porridge and fruit. So yeah, I just thought I'd get him some of these just for like really quick, easy breakfast on morning say if we're having like cocoa pops or something that he can't really have and finally because I am me I have some books <laughs> so we have I am missing by Tim Weaver um I'm really rubbish at explaining books so I'm just going to read the blurb to you for this one so this one is when a young man wakes up bruised and beaten with no memory of who he is or where he came from, the press immediately dub him the lost man. Naming himself Richard Kite, he spends the next 10 months desperately trying to find out who he is. But despite media appeals and the efforts of the police, no one knows him. Richard's last hope may be private investigator David Raker. Are you okay? A seasoned locator of missing people. But Raker has more questions than answers. Who is Richard Kite? Why does no one know him? And what links him to the body of a woman found behind beside a, lone, bleh, beside a London railway line two years ago? Would Richard be responsible for her death? Or is he next? Just sounds really creepy and awesome. And then I've got one which has been going around YouTube for like ages, I feel. And that's Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. And this one is, are you happy in your life? Those are the last words Jason Desson hears before the mass abductor knocks him unconscious. Before he wakes to find himself strapped to a gurney, surrounded by strangers in hazmat suits. Before the man he's never met smiles down at him and says, welcome back. In this world he's woken up to, Jason's life is not the one he knows. His wife is not his wife. His son was never born. And Jason is not an ordinary colleague physics professor is this world or the other that's the dream the answer lies in a journey more wondrous and horrifying than anything jason could have imagined so yeah those both sound really interesting there was another book that i thought sounded really intriguing but involved a missing baby and i just feel like i'm not like emotionally strong enough for that one so i got those two and hopefully i will enjoy them and yeah, that was all I bought. Um, <laughs> quite a lot of stuff for just going out to get some nappy rings. Whoops. But some of it I really did need and others just will just make things cheaper in the long run, I suppose. So yeah, that's it for me and I will see you again soon. Bye.